welcome to another weekly vlog i am starting off the vlog today looking like a baddie hey hey how y'all doing today is monday i'm back from greece now honestly i had such a nice trip away with guang i didn't realize how much i needed a trip away until i was away we haven't had a holiday where we literally just chilled sat down done nothing it was so so needed guys i feel like me and guang need to do more trips like that where we just literally turn off our phones shut off and let's just spend quality time together but we are back in the uk now and it's time to get back into the swing of work so i've literally just filmed this makeup look for tiktok i'm gonna go have lunch today with huda beauty and mona and catch up with everyone i feel like it's been a while since i've been to a makeup event i've got one today and tomorrow before i do a little glam today it's been so long since i've done like a really nice full cut crease like on holiday i hardly wore any makeup i just a little bit of concealer but i'm back to a full big now honey i need to show you guys my outfit because it's so freaking cute the outfit's from fashion nova it's a little cold set and it has this really low drop cow neck i had to secure the tatas in today you know just in case i had a little nip slip this is the type of outfit that i could not have worn before i had my boobs done i'm letting them out on show today honey look at guang being all sexy like a little housewife what are you doing babe Training the curtains. He's making it all nice and fancy because we got some new curtains finally. And the other day it actually came in so handy because I went out and then my friends come over and it was like four in the morning, the sun was coming out, and I was like, mm, turn off the blinds so that we can, you know, pretend it's still 12 o'clock at night time. I'll see you guys when I get into London. Just made it to Harrods, guys. I haven't been to Harrods in so long. I think the last time I went to Harrods is when I went to go get Graham's watch. That was a long time ago, guys. That was like February of last year. If you guys don't know what Harrods is, it's like a very bougie, big department store where you can buy like the bougiest of things. I love it. Wow. It's hair. That's how you guys I so, sit down. I'm gonna say hi to Mona. You look you, amazing. You look like, like a real you, princess. My face is your wedding. You guys are you look so much for being here today yes we love the product and we hope that you guys love it too but more importantly was like the message that we were talking about when we decided to come to london we wanted to invite like the dopest just most amazing influencers who we love so much and who are also changing the beauty standard who care so much about what beauty is what it means to people and it's so much more than just makeup you guys know this that's why we wanted to celebrate this with you guys we love you guys so much and thank you guys so much for celebrating today with us Aww. Did you just turn 30? Oh! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Oh my god, you guys are the best! Happy birthday, dear sweetie! Oh my god! Happy birthday to you! Daddy, daddy! Thank you so much! Oh, we're back together, y'all. Oh, yeah, it's together. been a short moment, but we're back. <laughs> Guys, we just had an exclusive fragrance smell of the new Kayali fragrance. It smells so good. So sexy. Coming out in August. Guys, how beautiful this tune Oh, Danny. She had a birthday. Oh, I'm officially a 30 year old woman now. Oh, she's never that better, guys. Ah. Maybe we need two videos together. Yeah. Maybe we catch up over the video. Oh, spill some tea. Oh, oh you know what we're like. <laughs> we're gonna go get a photo with Huda now. I'm just trying to film for my TikTok. It's so hard to film TikTok, Instagram so stories, hard, and a vlog. You Hello. can do it if anyone can multitask. Happy birthday, girl! I'm gonna take a little um, TikTok with us. Yes, okay. of course. Shisha and got the laptop open. 
We stole my sister's furniture. We ain't giving it back. <laughs> but I had such a good event with Huda Beauty today. They oh. say happy birthday to me twice. Oh my God, they were literally like so, so nice. Morning guys, it's another day, another beat. How y'all doing? Yesterday I went out, I love my makeup. And today, I'm not so sure about my makeup guys. I decided to go for something super vampy and very dark. I don't know how I'm feeling it. And I literally spent all day doing my makeup as well. And I literally want to take it off. I am heading off tonight for an event with Kiehl's, which is super exciting. I literally haven't seen the Kiehl's family in so long. And we're going to go for dinner with my friends. I'm not going to lie, guys. Going into London is literally like a chore these days. Like every single time I have to go back to London, I'm like... <gasps> <sighs> it's like an hour and a half journey in the car. Recently, I've been getting really, really car sick as well in the back of cars. Also need to update you guys because look at this. Can you guys see this? I recently just started the contraceptive patch again. If you guys have been following my contraceptive journey, you guys will know I basically had the implant in my arm for nine years. Then I went off contraception. I've had quite a few scares, you know, where I have to go keep getting the morning after pill. And that's not very good for you. I tried to do the natural cycles app where you take your temperature every single morning. But girl, when you travel, I literally just kept forgetting and i'm like girl this is not good because i'm still doing the pull-up method girl instead i tried to go on the pill and the pill made me crazy i definitely feel like it made me feel a lot more hungry a lot more moody and i just kept forgetting to take it as well so i am back on the patch i did try the patch a couple of months ago and i don't remember why i stopped doing it so i'm back on it again so i'm gonna keep you guys updated it's day one I literally just tried it for the first time today and I just keep it on for a week and then I change it out next week Monday. I'm gonna keep you guys updated. If you guys remember why I stopped the patch, let me know in the comments. You guys might remember more than me. I feel like I need to go back on my vlogs and re-watch why I stopped it. We're gonna try again round two. I need to find the right contraceptive method for me because your girl is not ready to have no babies, okay? I'm still a baby myself. Even though I just turned 30 years old, but you know, you know how we do. I've been in the car for two hours. Two hours, guys. Oh my God, I'm the last one here. <laughs> How are you? Oh my god, I've been in the car for two hours, guys. Oh, oh so stressful. But I'm here now, guys. I'm here with the Kills family. We're gonna have some dinner now. I'm so hungry. Guys, my car has just arrived and I'm in a Tesla. This is the dream. One day I will have this Tesla. Oh, it's so nice and sexy and sleek. I've just finished my event with Kills and I'm on my way home now, guys. And we've got like an hour and a half journey home. Why do I live so far from London, guys? Why? Why? I'm finally home. I fell asleep in the car, guys. Guess what time it is, guys? It's almost midnight. Cinderella needs to go home. Cinderella is tapped out, guys. Graham has been the evil stepsister slaving away, cleaning our house. Look how nice and shiny our house is. Oh, babe, it looks like a hotel. It's time to call it a day. The face is oily. I just farted. It's time to call it a night, guys. <laughs> Morning, guys. Oh, my God. Today, I'm a lone soldier. Graham has gone to an event today, guys. He's gone to a track day where you basically go look at cars. All that kind of boy stuff. So, I'm a lone soldier today in the house. And I'm literally trying to clean up. The other day when I came home, the house was so clean. Graham cleaned it so well. We decided to cook. Before you know it, it's like... Bah! everywhere again. I don't know where it is guys, but Gwen is so good at cleaning. I just don't know how he does it. When ever Gwen cleans the house, you come in, it's like, wow, like a maid's been here. I've been cleaning for an hour and a half. Why does it still look like this? I've just been trying to put the flowers inside the vase. I literally spilled water everywhere. I'm just trying to use this squeegee and mop up all of the water. Why do I not have a mop? We need to get a damn mop, guys. I'm trying to be smart, I'm trying to be efficient, but it just ain't working, guys. It just ain't working. Okay, update. I have kind of managed to clean the house now and it's three o'clock and I haven't eaten anything all day. So I thought it would be time to do a proper cook with me. I'm gonna try to make a healthy lunch. So I'm gonna actually make a salad, guys. Yeah, if anyone knows me, you guys will know. This is very different for me. I normally never eat salad, but you know, trying to stay snatched and all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna make a grilled chicken breast with some salad, some vegetables. Okay, so I just cut up some courgettes or zucchinis if you are from the other side of the world. And then I also have some green beans. These are literally just the leftover vegetables that I had in my fridge. Okay, so I saw this little hack on TikTok and it said to get some saran wrap or cling film, which is what we call it over here in the UK. Okay, so I just got a piece of chicken, some saran wrap, and it said you need to beat your chicken. So I'm gonna pretend this is grand when he's really pissing me off on a bad day, you know? So this is a tip to make your chicken cook evenly, because um, my worst fear is to have chicken that's not cooked. <laughs> so apparently by hitting it, it makes the chicken cook a lot more evenly, and also it's a lot more 
tender as well apparently so you want to make it all kind of one thickness because you know normal chicken breast is a bit thicker in the middle and then like thinner on the sides you, know? you probably should use an actual hammer for this but you know yolo i'm just using the back of my knife I feel like a little chef guys beat this bitch up bitch slap a hole mm. do you know one thing that I wish I could change about myself is the fact that I don't eat a lot of things. It's something that really bugs me about myself. I wish I could be one of those girls that just eats everything, but there's so many things that I don't eat and I just feel like it's too late for me now, guys. It's just embedded in my brain. I don't eat red meat. I don't eat seafood. I don't eat cold food. There's a lot of things I don't eat and I feel like that is a big turn off for a lot of people. Like, why am I built like this? Why? Why can't I just be normal? Okay, voila, the chicken is flat like a pancake. Okay, next it's time to season this bitch, but I'm literally gonna freehand it, okay? I have no idea what I'm doing. Guys, does anyone know how to get the seasoning to become fluffy again? Like, this must be garlic salt, but it's hard as a rock. I like mine extra garlicky, you know? Gotta do both sides. Got some onion powder. Got some paprika. I don't even know if I like the taste of paprika, but I see people putting it in every day. Time for some pepper. Right here, guys, it's time to cook the chicken. And my sister got me this pan for my birthday. It's called the R Place Pan. And guys, I don't know if I like it, you know. It's 125 pounds for this pan. You know, for this bit of the pan, you think that you can touch it, but you girl, you can't. The other day, Grant actually touched it and he literally gave himself a third degree burn. Why would they not make this bit touchable? That's just like common sense. Time to put the chicken breast on. Oh, she's sizzling, girl. Mm -hmm. While the chicken is cooking, I thought I'd chat to you guys and have a little bit of a heart to heart because I feel like recently, I don't know why, guys, I've just been feeling so meh. I'm trying just to put my head down and just get through the days, but there's just something recently where I just feel so lost. Don't know what I'm doing. I feel like with social media, things are just changing so much online. I film these YouTube videos and I'm like, does anyone even care? Is YouTube still even a thing? I put so much hard work and effort into filming these videos and putting on a brave face, even when I just don't want to be on camera, but I feel like I have to kind of show up. Sometimes when I just look at the views and I just look at just what I'm doing in my life, I'm like, am I just old news now? Like, like they don't even care about X really. I just feel so lost and I just feel so much uncertainty at the moment. There's just so much focus on TikTok now and I just feel like I'm such a small fish in such a big sea and there's so many new fishes in the sea now and I just feel like forgotten about? I don't know guys, it's just such a hard place mentally to navigate online on social media because you just feel like you're never good enough or you could be doing more, you're not doing enough. There's so many other people out there that's better than you. I don't know. I just, I'm going through something right now, guys, where I'm just feeling so lost. I don't want to come on here and become like a negative Nancy, but it is something that I am struggling with behind the scenes. As much as online, you see, you know, people smiling and happy and, you know, putting on makeup and serving all these looks and stuff. But just remember that inside, that like, people are going through things. So... I don't know, I just thought like I need to get that off my chest because I just felt really lost at the moment and I don't know if anyone else is going through these kind of emotions as well. I don't know if I'm starting my period. I don't know if it's this patch that's giving me all these emotions. Yeah, I'm just going through some things right now, guys. Enough sad talk, let's flip this chicken. Oh, bitch. She burnt, <laughs> she burnt, no, she burnt. Just added some green beans in the chicken juices and in my courgette. So these cook very quickly. And then I'm also going to add some minced garlic. You can just get the garlic that's already cut up for you because I'm that lazy. And I like extra garlic, girl. I'm going to leave the chicken here to rest. They also say to leave your meat out to rest for like five minutes before you cut it. I don't know why, but that's what they say. These are basically done. All right, time to cut this chicken and let's see if it's juicy. Oh, she looks juicy, girl. It's hard with chicken breast though because um, you want it to be still juicy and not dry. It's so easy to make chicken breast really dry. 
Oh, do you think this is cooked? Oh my god, I get scared, guys. I get scared. This is fully cooked. If anyone has some good chicken breast recipes, let your girl know. I need some quick, easy lunch recipes. Okay, so this is my lunch for today. Okay, let's do a little taste test and um, let's see how it goes. A bit of salad, a bit of cucumber. Is it weird that I'm having like hot vegetables with cold vegetables? That's the only way I'm gonna try to force myself to like cold things. Hmm, it's not that bad, you know? This is probably the healthiest lunch I've had all year long. <laughs> so I thought I'd chat to you guys while I'm home by myself. Some of you guys have been asking on my Instagram, what is the update with our second property that we're buying? And guys, I had no idea how stressful it is to buy a second property. I thought, you know, you got the deposit, that's all you need. Girl, there's so many things that goes on behind the scenes. We basically had our mortgage team go and survey the property and there were some things that came back. So then our mortgage got declined. So we had to apply for a new mortgage. There's just a lot of things that's just happening that is just really, really stressful. And I just have to say like, Guang is just so amazing. He's actually looking after all of that side of things. And he's been really stressed about it. Me and Guang have been, you know, going through some relationship things, trying to like really work on our relationship and try to loving each other wholeheartedly again. Me and Guang have been together for such a long time now that we live together, we work together, we have friends together. I love him so much, but sometimes we go through things, you know, and a lot of things that we don't show on camera. We're just trying to navigate through life at the moment and it's just really stressful, guys. Until we kind of get through it, that's when I think we can talk about it more. But I feel like it's been such a long time since I sat down and had a heart to heart with you guys. I feel like recently I've just been like, go, go, go. And you know, sometimes it just seems that like everything's hunky dory, but yeah. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like it's really important to show these really real vulnerable sides. Anyways, I'm going to eat my salad now and I'll chat to you guys later. <laughs> Thank God it's Friday. I come at you with a full beat. One of my favorite looks I've probably done this whole vlog. I think this is like my go-to like classic look. It's probably going to be like my wedding makeup. So nice and classic. Just a little bit of a smoky eye on the outer corners, you know. Nice blushy pink cheeks. I've literally been obsessed with pink cheeks recently. And this blusher, guys, everyone needs this blusher in their life. Life. It is from Too Faced. It is their Butterfly Babe Blusher. It is literally like the perfect pink cheek and it has a little bit of a sheen to it as well. So it kind of gives you a nice glow, you know, highlighter isn't really popping anymore. But I love like a shimmery blusher because it gives like a nice sheen without like an actual highlighter cheek, you know? So today is a really exciting day because I'm heading off to an event with TikTok and NYX. So I am trying to get onto that TikTok bandwagon. I was telling you guys yesterday, you know, when I wasn't feeling so upbeat that TikTok is just like taking over and it's just something that my old brain can't handle, you know? It's just like so far, so on the go. People's patience, people's attention span is so quick now. Like any video longer than seven seconds, like ain't never gonna have time for it these days. So I need to try to, you know, reinvent myself. You know, you always have to keep evolving and growing, especially with the industry that I'm in. So I think that's really, really important. So I'm going to try, you know, I don't want to be a stout old brick that's been doing the same old thing for years and years and years and not involving. I am signing up to all types of workshops and any help that I can get. And I encourage anyone, you know, if you're feeling a bit in a rut, cry about it for a little bit and then snap out of it. And you got to roll the times, honey, okay? Otherwise you'll be left behind. <laughs> and trust me honey i ain't gonna be left behind okay i'm gonna keep evolving keep moving keep growing to the next level so that is the attitude that we want to have okay we need to be positive i know yesterday i was down in the dumps and that's fine you know it's fine to have days like that but as long as you pick yourself up and remind yourself you're a bad bitch okay i'm staring at you guys on the lens okay remind yourself you are baddie honey you are baddie. <laughs> Friday is one of my favorite days, okay? My third favorite F word. The first is fuck, the second is free, and the third is Friday. <laughs> I need to show you guys my outfit as well because it is so freaking cute. I am literally obsessed with cohorts. You guys know how I feel about cohorts and this set, she cute or whatever. Reminds me of like Versace, you know? <laughs> but it is from Fashion Nova and you guys know I love kind of like flared trousers like this. And apparently today is meant to be 21 degrees. It's meant to be really nice and sunny today. So I'm rocking the shoulders. I'm showing off the tan, woo! So this is where we're heading today for the NYX workshop. We're literally on the strand. Not NYX, NYX professional makeups. How we stand and we were born in 1999. In so that was fun guys, really. It's just done a little makeup workshop. It's really cool getting to know the NYX products a little bit more. This product here is literally my favorite eyebrow product. I literally can't do my eyebrows without it. I don't know how much I get to show you guys on 
the vlog because they're basically talking all about stats and TikTok shop and stuff like that. It's so interesting, especially as a creator. But we're at lunch now and um, I spy my little ass uh, some free crisps. So um, you're coming home with me. You're coming home with me and I'll take you and I'll try one of you too. <laughs> Anytime I see free things, I'm like, oh, I'll have one of those. I'm on the lunch is salads, but uh, I'll be able to eat a proper salad one day. We just finished the TikTok workshop and it was so good, guys. We got to learn loads of things about TikTok shop. It's something that I really want to get into. It's like the new way of like buying products now. And they were saying that apparently the average person goes on TikTok for the average of 71 minutes a day and they open up the app 16 times a day. That's definitely me guys. It's time to end the vlog here because I'm gonna go out tonight. I was thinking to take you guys out tonight to go meet my friends and stuff like that but I thought, do you know what? I just want to enjoy my time with my friends and I just feel like I don't want that pressure of thinking about oh, I haven't vlogged yet and all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna end this week's vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for all the love on our Greece vlog. It was so nice bringing you guys along with us and I felt like me and Guy really, really needed it. So I hope you guys didn't mind me having a little bit of a wobble this week. When I look back at footage like that i'm like i should just delete it but i'm like no i need to keep it in i want to show you guys the low the raw moments as well as the ups and the highs you know if you guys like this video please give me a thumbs up and that's it for this video guys i'll see you guys next week bye we are doing a day where grand decides my outfit go fuck yourself what you told me you want me to go out in the sun you wear like a full long sleeve oh, top shit. yeah Guy's been so confused going in here. He was like, okay, put on this. And he's like, no, I don't like it. So now he's like, okay, you're gonna have to wear shorts and a top. And then do you know what he says to me? He's like, is this all the tops you have? I'm like, um, excuse me, it's literally like a whole round just of tops. What can I pair with grey shorts? Uh, you can have a Playboy t-shirt. You don't want me to get a tan today then? You want a bikini top then? No, I don't want a bikini top, what the hell? We're not in Marbella, love. What? <laughs> Is your opinion about girls' clothes? There is so many different pieces. <laughs> we just have vest, t-shirt, shorts, trousers. We ain't got no this bodysuit and we got this two piece and we got co-ords. <laughs> okay, is this that outfit you're gonna dress me in, yeah? Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, that part of it is horrible. <laughs> horrible? I wouldn't say it's horrible. Yeah. Grey and grey. Slap it on. <laughs> TikTok transition. Right, do we approve of this outfit, Grey? It's not a bad casual because it's hot and sunny today. Yay! I right. approve of this outfit. This is an outfit I would pick myself. I don't care about your light. You want that ugly? It is. <laughs> Graham was like a little chef in the house yesterday. Babe, have you looked in the mirror? Look at your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> what are you eating? <laughs> I had a chocolate cup of strawberry. <laughs> That's sure my new video, guys. You sure that shit between your teeth? Uh, I was eating guys' ass. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs>